Yes, it's Sparta! Hello and welcome to Sparta. Yes, we are taking over as manager of Blythe Spartans. The Spartans Blythe in the National League North. It's another non-league save, like the Maidenhead one, like the Didcot Town one of, let's call it last year, shall we? This is the, the new Ruse DC-17 on Football Manager 2018. Welcome to the Blythe Spartans. This is Sparta career. As you can see, we're just going to talk to Tony Platten. Obviously, non-league football is very fun. Uh, very, very fun to play. For me, especially. It's sort of, you know, it's definitely worthwhile if you can build your way up as a club and then reach... Even the Championship, even League One is amazing. But to reach the Premier League, to reach Europe, Blythe Spartans in the Champions League, that's what we want. It's not going to happen, but that's what we want, you know. And our first job is to get out of the National League North. Out, and then into the beautiful, beautiful thing that is the conference. As you can see, we have Jarrett Rivers, giant killer. His Spark Blackpool, after that giant killing... Legendary game didn't quite go to plan, but who really cares? You know, he's back at Blythe. Jarrett Rivers, he's gonna create some more history with this club. You know, we're gonna we're gonna beat a Manchester United or a Man City in this season, in the FA Cup. I'm telling you now. No, we're gonna go out in one of the qualifying rounds now I've said that. But does it matter? No, it bloody doesn't. Because we are here in Blythe, you know, a, it's an alright place, but a beautiful, beautiful football club. I mean, who doesn't want to play for a club called Spartans in Blythe, you know? But the potential of this club, how far we can go, is amazing. As you can see, there's the background. Ten Northern League Division Ones. You know, bloody huge club. Like, we're talking, people say, oh, United City, Chelsea, Arsenal, Spurs, Barca, Real. No, Blythe is where it's at. Blythe Spartans are going to be the biggest club in the world in ten years' time. Calling it now. On here, obviously. Real life, maybe if, if you want a team for the National League North, you should probably look at Salford. Anyway, as you can see, our odds at the start of the season are to finish we're predicted to finish 6th. 9 to 1. Basically, if you bet £1, you'll get £9. Unless I bottle it, to which then, if you bet £9, you'll get... Nounce. There, there, York have John Parkin, uh, the, bit, the big man himself. York, if we, we look at the best team in the division, it's very York. Like, it's very, very York. You know? So... Take of that what you will, second place a trophy. <laughs> but obviously, there's a big playoff in this league now. The National League playoffs of uh, second, oh, second all the way down to seventh, the six. We want, we want, we want to win the league. Obviously, we want to win the league. Uh, Dan Maguire is. You know, very good. I, I saw a video by HITC, uh, their YouTube channel, saying that he could be the next Jamie Vardy, which that'd be good for us, definitely. You know, uh, I think we can prove that he won't be because probably get to League One and it'll be J. Emmanuel Thomas again, like with Maidenhead. Maidenhead was J. Was was it? No, I I don't know. Okay, I can't remember. I want to do another. Upsy, t topsy turvy league system because like it's a real oh my hair looks rubbish now it's a really good idea you know I don't want to be playing with my hair all the video ah can't bloody you know as I said for these introduction videos you've always got to focus on the gameplay or you focus on some of the rubbish I'm talking about you know it's up to you so we want to reach the playoff in Vanarama National League North first round of the FA Cup second round of the FA Trophy anyway here are all the rules I'm not going to read all of them out. If you want to read through all the National League rules, then please go ahead. 
Like, I don't even read them on the game, let alone in the videos, because I just do it. I just manage matches. Like, most of the time, I don't even do press conferences anymore. I let my sister manager do everything apart from team talks and matches. And even then, I normally hand over to assistant. So, can't see my arms. Like, I've got to start... Gotta start moving backwards and doing that because you can, you can't see up here. I'm just raising my arms. You can. It doesn't work anyway. I'm wearing my Schalke goalkeeper kit that's black and green because it's the only black and green piece of clothing I seem to have, uh, apart from the Reading shirt, which I actually wore in the Reading video that I've recorded just before then, and I didn't want to, you know, look like I'm recording loads at the same time. But I am. Oh, I don't. What I'm trying to say is, when this video comes out a month after the Reading one, I don't want it to look like that. Anyway, you know, thinking ahead. So, as you can see, this is the team report. I do a lot. I just go through the boring stuff. There may be people out there who want to go through sort of all this squad depth stuff and all these rules and all these things. I'm definitely not one of them. But... In the next episode, we'll be going into matches, and that is definitely something that I always focus on. So thank you for watching the first episode of This is Sparta. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, and I will see you in the next episode on my channel, hopefully sometime soon. Thank you, and goodbye.